Hey guys, this is Kyle Lent and Jimmy Ingram. We play at the Austin Stone, and here's how to play all the individual parts for Love Shines from the Austin Stone live record. So we'll start off with the intro. Again, I'm using the DD20, DD5. I'm using uh, Box of Rock and King of Tone. So those are all four on for this intro. So I'll just play the whole thing from beginning to finish on that. These are also the turnarounds as well. So. And uh, my intro and turnaround parts are a little bit different, so I'll show you those um, individually. First, um, I have my DD20, um, a DD7, and for my two delays, and then I have this um, Electro Harmonics POG, which is the octave generator on, and a reverb on, so it's just a big wash of sound. And I play just simple chords for the very first, the intro part. <coughs> And for the other turnarounds, I don't have the pog or the, uh, the uh, reverb on, and I play a part like this. On the verse part, Kyle's guitar part carries like most of the weight on that. So I'll come in with this part like halfway through the verse just to kind of play around what he's doing. And here's how this goes. And on the verses, I'm playing a really um, kind of note heavy part on the low E and on the G. And what I'm doing is just kind of doing a root and a third note. And I'm only using one delay here. And what I'll do is I'll put it on the neck pickup and roll my tone pretty far off so it's real bassy. So the verse parts look like this. As the verse ends, I'll kind of roll my tone up just to kind of build it into the chorus. So I'll show you the chorus part. I'm using the DD20, DD5 in both of my overdrives. Here's how this goes. On the choruses, I'm playing um, just straight eighth notes on the D, G, and B strings. And um, I just have it on a pretty heavy drive with my boosts on for the box of rock and on my bridge pickup. And I play a part that's like this.
So now I show you the bridge part. Again, Kyle's kind of carrying most of the weight on this part, so I don't come in until about halfway through, but I just kind of play some whole notes to just kind of support what he's doing. And here's how these voicings work. My part on the bridge is octave. Um, I play a lot of octaves, and sometimes I'm playing the root note, and other times I'm playing like a third. So as you can see on the chord chart on the site, um, the chords are actually F, C, G, D minor, A minor, G, but I'm playing um, notes that are a little bit different from that. So my part goes like this, and this is with pretty much all of your gain on. <laughs> Yeah, so right after that part, it just goes back into the chorus, but it's broke down. It's guitar, vocals, and drums. And um, I'm just using the quarter note delay on this part and playing single notes that just follow the changes of the chords. And that goes like... down part until we all hit the big chorus and then I just play the regular chorus parts and that's it